hang tight, kitties. I just gotta open this. Oh. <laughs> I guess dinner's on me. <laughs> Attach leashes to harnesses and keep a firm grip. The cats may... Oh! Yeah! Uh? Make way, bro! No kitty breaks! Huh? Ah! No one is... <laughs> Meal portions. Medical messes! Bingo! If the cats get messy, prepare a warm, soothing bath. Bath! No, 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 no! Come back! <laughs> oh, come on, dudettes! Hey, Poppy, how goes the gig? Bad. I am so overwhelmed, Mick. I haven't made a dent in everything I'm supposed to do. And the McBees will be back in a few hours. But you better get cracking if you want to catch my show with Sam. <gasps> Sam! She's great with cats. Thanks, Mick. Wait, love. Let's not do anything too hasty. <laughs> Sam, you're the best. How'd you get here so fast? I was around the corner picking up Simon from his gamers club meeting, so we came right over. We? Hi, Luna. Hey, that's harsh. Sorry, I didn't mention it on the phone, but I'm not supposed to have anyone else over. The cats get anxious. I mean, I figured you'd be okay because animals love you and all. Well, we can't leave my little brother out there. It is nice weather. Luna! Right, right, okay. We just need to make sure the cats don't see him. Cool. What is this place? The McBride's entertainment room. You can hang out here while Sam and I take care of the cats. No way! A Dreamwalker 3 virtual reality system? Uh, well, just... Promise you'll be careful, okay? That's Clyde's. Promise. All right, let's take care of those cats. Ready or not, here I come! Gotcha! of yarn balls and tuna fish scales. But when you awake, the day dawns anew. And morning shall greet you with a bright and happy new. Phew, Sam, I owe you big time. Please, I'm just psyched we're gonna get to see Mick together. I better duck out before the McBrides get back. Alrighty, see you, Sam. <laughs> Simon! I'm so sorry for breaking your rule. Here, I don't deserve this. We appreciate your honesty. But we do have to say, when we checked in on our fur babies just now, we have never seen them sleeping so soundly. That was all, Sam. She's a total cat whisperer. Wait, loons. It was your idea to sing them a super sweet lullaby. That's what got them to fall asleep so peacefully. Well, Hair Bear, I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. More like me wowed. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Don't worry, Mr. and Mr. McBride. We'll get them back to sleep. Sleep for your babies in kitty dreamland. When you awake, the day dawns anew. And morning shall greet you with a bright and happy news. Shh! Shh! Oh, Sergio, I just did my hair! 
<laughs> oh, that bird is really getting on my nerves lately. Last night, I barely got any sleep. <laughs> Sergio, can you keep it down? What? Turn it up? Okay. Boo Boo Bear, it's just harmless teasing. Breakfast is ready, Francie Bear! Hey! Oh, oh. oh, good! You got my gift! <laughs> oh, ew! Sergio, why are your feathers in my huevos rancheros? Sergio can't help it, pobrecito. He's molting! <laughs> Almost bikini season! <laughs> <laughs> But does he have to molt into my breakfast? I could do it in your lunch instead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, the votes are in. Thanks for coming, Dad. This is a big moment for me. Excited that you're going to get to see it. Wouldn't miss it for the world, mijo. The new Employee of the Month is... Bobby, please, please, Bobby, please, Bobby. please. Sergio! Wow! I'd like to thank Bobby for losing. What? Let me see the votes. Vito doesn't even work here. Why did he get to vote? He's at the Mercado so much, he's practically a part-time employee. Oh, does that mean I get an employee discount? <laughs> no. Oh, no. No one voted for me? Not even Mr. Inflatable? I covered for you, man. And there's always next month, Beto. Why don't you come by later? We'll make a pillow fort and eat ice cream in it. Thanks, Dad. Oh, beaten by a bird. Can it get more embarrassing? <laughs> Clean up at the register! <laughs> you know what, Sergio? I've had it. I wish you would just fly away and never come back. Fine, peace. Hey, you seen Sergio? No one can find him. Everyone is freaking out. Sergio! Sergio! Uh oh, gotta go, babe. Sergio? Sergio? Sergio! 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 I don't understand. Where did he go? It's not like him to just disappear like this. <laughs> I wish you would just fly away and never come back. <laughs> Roberto, you were the last one to see him. Do you know where he went? Uh, no. It's not like I told him to leave and never come back. <laughs> but I'll go look for him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sergio's not here either. Go! Sergio, come back! Hey, Sancho! Have you seen Sergio? Hello? I have crackers. Hey, Priscilla. It's about your ex, Sergio. Have you seen him? Sore subject, got it! Okay, Sergio's really gone. Just tell them the truth. They're your family, they'll forgive you. You got this, Bobby. Whoa! No, Senor Policia, his feathers are way more beautiful than that. Use this one, I did it myself. What's going on? Abuela got the cops involved. Policias, if anyone hurts my bird, you better give them 20 to life. Ah! Oh. Talk to our grandson. He was the last person to see Sergio. He might know something helpful. I don't know anything. What, you're looking at my scratches? <laughs> I fell into a bush. You know, instead of questioning me, maybe you should be trimming that dangerous bush outside. <laughs> oh, Roberto's taking this so hard. Pets for sale? Come get your pre-owned, previously loved pets. I have.
have been wanting to get rid of that ugly thing for years, but I felt too guilty. You get a treat. Oops, that's your butt. <laughs> You ate the whole thing? Oh, finally, someone who appreciates my liverwurst shrimp and hot mayo casserole. <sighs> Usually eating it's a one-way ticket to the sink or toilet, huh? Got your stray over. We'll return to the 12:30 movie after this. Here at the Green Mile Pet Sanctuary, we need your help. All of these cute little animals need a home. For just the cost of a cup of coffee, you could save the life of an adorable, helpless friend. What the heck? Monitors. Mmm, like those loves. Hey, get back here! Yeah! Corinne for the win! Oh, but oh, don't you worry, I'll find that. sure you can handle this many dogs, chicas? Oh yeah, my mom works at the zoo, so I'm pretty much an animal expert. <laughs> Recuerden, Fluffy only eats organic dog food. That's it, nada más. And Pickles loves puddles, so be careful. I don't want her getting all muddy. Got it. I eat one more thing. Okay, thanks, Margarita, bye. Hmm. <laughs> Hola, ladies. I see you have a little business going. Good for you. I think we can help each other out. Uh, step into my office. <laughs> Your office really needs a decorator. What is it, Carl? We're busy. I'll make this quick. I can pay you $4 a day to walk Lalo. 
Doesn't Abuelo pay you five dollars to walk, Lalo? Why would you only give us four? It's my finder's fee. Don't you know anything about capitalism? Forget it, Carl. Uh, Ronnie Ann, could you step into my office? <clears throat> four dollars is four dollars. <laughs> she gets it. Fine, give me the money, Carl. Uh, do you have change for a 50? Hi, Vito. Ronnie Ann, what are you, girls starting a dog walking business? Yep. You know, we could handle a few more. Uh, I don't know. That's a lot of dogs. Oh, her mom works at the zoo, so we're practically animal experts. All right, you talk me into it. Now, this is Big Tony and Little Sal. Uh, they look the same size to me. I don't see it. So two things you gotta know. Big Tony, he's gonna chase squirrels. And this genius thinks he's a cat, so what are you gonna do? Squirrels, cat, got it. Oh no, what do we do? Wait here, I have an idea. My mom's animal whistle collection. Let's see, porpoise whistle, giraffe whistle. Ah, here it is, dog whistle. <gasps> Look, it worked. Uh... Well, it sort of worked. At least Buttercup and Nelson came back. All right, spit it out. Yuck. Now what? We still need to find six dogs. Okay, we can do this. We just need to use what we know about these dogs. <gasps> Ninja loves naps. And I know the best spot in the park. Abuelo likes to nap there. Come on, boy. Whoa. Told you that's his spot. Three down, five to go. Who's next? How about Big Tony? He loves to chase squirrels and we are in a park. Dang it. Where are all the squirrels when you need them? No worries, I know one. Ronnie Ann, meet Rocco. My mom brought him home from the zoo. He needed his wisdom teeth removed. I hate to do this to you, Rocco, but I'll read you two bedtime stories tonight. I promise. Okay, who's next? Fluffy, Margarita said she only eats organic food. There she is. Hey, you gotta pay for that. Sorry, $9 for bologna? Sheesh. That's five dogs, three more to go. We just need to find Little Sal, Pickles, and Lalo. Little Sal thinks he's a cat. I can work with that. Aha, uh -huh, he is a cat. Look, there's Pickles. Pickles, no! Ugh, we can't bring her back to Margarita like this. Ooh, Ronnie Ann, I can give you the family discount on a doggy bath. Okay, now what about Lalo? I might be able to help. Tell you what, give me 10 bucks, I'll find him. 10 bucks? I guess you could just tell Abuelo that you lost him. Ugh. Nice doing business with you. Carl! Oh man, we're losing way more money than we're making today. But at least we got all the dogs back. <sighs> well, she does not like to be bathed. Tomorrow, we're wrapping up our biology studies with a special project. We'll be dissecting frogs! Oh. Oh. Get ready to jump in! <laughs> really? No one? Dissecting frogs? That sounds horrible! You can't do that! They're just frogs, Lana. What's the big deal? I'll show you what the big ow, deal ow. is. Watch this movie I made about hops. <laughs> Pops, a light in leaves. I'll never forget the day I met my future best friend. <laughs> You're the best froggy. Well, I gotta go. Dad's making meatloaf tonight. Thanks for the fun day. Aw, you're lonely, aren't you, little guy? Would you like to come home and live with me? Since that day, we've been 
pretty inseparable. We eat all our meals together. Pops likes his crickets chocolate covered, but I like mine plain. We play together. We even get our school photos taken together. All right, kids, smile. Three, two, one, cheese. Nighty night, buddy. Mwah. I can't imagine what life would be like without my best friend, Hops. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You see, Lincoln, frogs are cooler on the outside than they are on the inside. So please, don't dissect them. I won't, and neither will anyone else. What do you mean? We're going on a rescue mission. Don't forget hops. All right, class, when we return from lunch, we'll leap into our frog dissecting. Come on, people, I'm giving you comedy gold here. Lana, where are you? <gasps> oh, good hiding place. What are you talking about? Hops and I were just eating lunch. <clears throat> Let's go. We have a problem. It's a surface-mounted deadbolt with a tumbler locking mechanism. In English, please? We'll have to find another way in. Principal Huggins? Wrong room! Wrong room! Good job, Hops. What's up, Froggies? We're here to rescue you! Let's go! With that open window decoy was brilliant! What do you think? This is my first animal rescue? Be free, my amphibian friends! Be free! Good luck, froggies! Have a nice life! Uh, you guys might want to get moving. Seriously, guys, go! Do you want to be today's lunch special? Move! Why aren't they moving? Maybe they don't know how to survive in the wild. Hey, you! Not cool! Lincoln, we can't leave them here. You're right. We'll take them home till we can think of a better plan. Don't even think about it! They'll be safe here. Come on, we gotta go. Lunch hour's almost up. All right, Hops, keep an eye on them till we get back. Whew. Good afternoon, class. Mrs. Johnson has informed me that some frogs have gone missing. Uh, you know what today is? The Day of the Dead. Day of the what? Day of the Dead. It's a special holiday where Froggy could come visit you. Really? How? First, we have to build an altar and put all the stuff Froggy likes on it. What was he into? Oh, so many things. His favorite food, bacon bits. This was his favorite movie, The Hoffet. Ah! Shoelace jump rope. It kept him in shape for catching flies. Okay, Sergio! Back! Special delivery! Fresh from Carlitos! <laughs> Lily pad with the big flower. Ah, mm. Got it. What do you think, Adelaide? I think Froggy will love it. You guys can go now. I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to come back. <laughs> 
Uh, Adelaide, a tiny misunderstanding. Froggy doesn't actually come back. Eh? He just... What do you mean? You told me he was going to come visit. I thought we were going to jump rope and watch a movie and eat bacon bits. Well, we didn't mean visit. We meant... What did we mean? <laughs> now I miss Froggy even more. <laughs> Whoops. Gee, Wawa, what do we do now? Hmm, I once had a goldfish that died, and my mom just replaced it and acted like it was the same fish. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that still works on Bobby. To the pet store. Well, I don't usually rent frogs, but I'll make an exception. I am such a big fan of your mom. Her gator tour <laughs> is the best thing at the zoo. <laughs> Now, remember, if anyone asks, your name is Froggy. Adelaide, someone's here to see you. I don't want to see anyone. Not even Froggy? <gasps> Froggy, you're back. I have a whole list of things for us to do. Come on, let's hit the park. Careful not to get him dirty. Why? Because we won't get our deposit back. Uh, from uh, the afterlife. Okay. Okay, Froggy, time to go back. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. That was a pretty great plan. I'm just gonna go ahead and agree. Hey, Adelaide, what's going on? I guess Froggy had to leave, but since that worked so well, I thought it'd bring back Great Aunt Millie, Old Mr. Woodford, and Abraham Lincoln. <gasps> I forgot Lincoln's top hat. I love this holiday. Adelita, this is me papa. Just like you miss Froggy, I miss me papa very much. He liked bowling and tamales, but he was better at eating tamales. Get your own material. I honor my papa by putting out all the things he loved, and I use incense, candles, and marigolds to help guide his spirit back. So, where is he? Well, he's in my heart. You see, on this day, we think about our loved ones, and that keeps their memories alive. So even if we don't see them, they're still with us. Um, I do feel like Froggy is here. Ah! Senor Froggy? It's a Dia de los Muertos miracle. There you are. Little Stinker followed the trail of bacon bits all the way back here. Whew. You guys keep talking. I'm good. Whew. Abuela, this isn't Froggy. It's fake Froggy. <sighs> Pete, how about we make a trade? Tickets to my mom's gator tour in exchange for the frog? Put me in the splash zone and we have a deal. Deal. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Stop flirting with my lawn ornament, loud! Where's Walt? The dreamboat is on and he never misses an episode. He's such a hopeless romantic. Uh, I guess Walt's not coming today. I went out to get him, but he put a do not disturb sign on his birdhouse. Wait, are you saying Walt knows how to write? Of course not, ding dong. I know how to read Canary. I didn't think I'd ever go on a date. I thought I'd be alone my whole life. But now we're happy and in love. We just needed help finding each other. Thanks, Dreamboat. You're welcome. Would you 
you like some tea, Miss Hummingbird? It's caffeine-free, which might help you slow down a little. Thank you for your song, Morning Dove. You're really attuned to deep emotions. Checkmate? How did I not see this? Oh, well played, madam. Quack, 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 quack. 